Hello there, and welcome to the pet vet. How are you doing today? You're doing pretty good? Okay. And how's that little puppy there of yours doing? Doing good? Okay, great. Um, you are here a little bit early, so it's just going to take a moment to get logged into our system and everything. Okay. Is this your first time here? One second. The computers like to be a little bit slow, especially in the mornings when um, we've just gotten in. Okay. Just take a second to load. So, um, let's see. I'm actually the only one here today. Um, that's why I'm kind of doing the receptionist job, too, but I will be your vet. Okay. So, um, it looks like you made an appointment for in about 15 minutes, so I'm all set up back there. We just gotta get you logged in, and then we'll move back to, um, to the examination room. Okay. Alright, so you said this is your first time here, and... Okay, so I'm just gonna have to fill out a few things with you before we get started today, okay? Now, I do have a sheet that you can fill out on your own, or I can help you fill it out. Now, um, let's see. This side is for if you have a cat, which obviously you brought in your puppy today. So, the back side here is for, um, for your dog. So be sure, if you fill this out alone, to fill it out on this side here. Um, I'll actually take it out and get one ready for you. Let's see. Okay. So, up at the top, you can, you can see it says pet vet, and over here, veterinarian, that's just, um, my name, okay? So, my name is Prim, so you can just put Prim there, or I can help you fill it out if you want to. Um, right here on this line, it says owner's name, so you're gonna put your name, or if you're not the owner, um, of this puppy, just put the owner's name right there on this line. Date right there. Mm, yep. Um, your dog's name right here on this line. You're going to put your uh, dog's age here. Um, and then circle the areas of the body. So this part down here, this is all for me to fill out back in the room. Okay. So you'll just give this back to me if you want to take it to your seat and fill it out. Or if you think you need a little bit of help, I can I can fill it out for you. Okay, yeah, I'd be happy to. Um, so I'm just gonna put my name right there. And are you the owner of the this puppy? You are. Okay. So what's your name? Is that? And what is your last name? Okay, and let's see, check and see if I spelled that correctly. Right there. Okay, okay, good. Alright, and today's day, let's see, what is it? Sometimes I forget. Um, okay, let's see. Okay, and what is the name of... That is an adorable name. Okay. I have never heard that name for a dog before. It's very clever. Okay, and your dog's age? It's about to be 10, week, ten weeks old. Okay. He's 
quite big for a 10 week old puppy. He's gonna be a big, big dog. Okay, so um, we'll just fill a couple more things out really quickly. Um, this dog, male, male, okay. And the color's cream. Cream, I'll put um, golden. Um, So your reason for a visit today, would that be a checkup, um, vaccination, accident, or illness? Just a checkup? Okay, good. All right. Um, all right, and then the rest here, I will be sure to I'll check that in and um, examine him. Okay. All right, so... Before we go back to the room, let me just verify your appointment here. Okay. So he's actually not going to get his shots today. That'll be in one week from now since he just got them a couple. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, schedule you in for next week. Just pop back in and we'll, we'll get his shots done. Um, so. Okay. All right. And how does Wednesday look for you? Wednesday work. Okay. And would you like it morning or afternoon? sure you have my number, but if you can't get a hold of me here, I'll go ahead and just write it in at the top here, okay? That way, if you need um, any assistance or questions answered, anything like that, filled out this form that way you can keep it with his um, other forms and papers and stuff okay if you ever need if you ever need to look at it to check out anything out all right so just go ahead and get this out Looks like we have everything ready. We can go back to the room. Um, let's see. I'm just gonna write your name in here because you you've never been here before, so it's not in there yet. But it's it's about to be. And since he is your um, brand new puppy, do you have everything that you need for him, or is there anything that we can help you out with today? Okay. All right. I just gotta put it in for our inventory that way, because we we give things out all the time here um, to new pet owners. Um, and when you called, you only you called just a couple days ago, and yeah, so you haven't you haven't been able to get everything yet. Okay, that's understandable. Um, pets can be quite pricey, so we have no problem helping out. All right, looks like we got everything. Um, you can wait over there, and I will see you back there in just a few minutes. I'm just gonna go in, turn the lights on, and get things prepared. Okay, I'll see you in just a few. All right, so I'll go ahead and take him from you here. You can just set him down. Oh yeah, he's gonna be fine. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, 
hold him for just a couple minutes and get him relaxed, okay? Um, and then we're going to start by just kind of checking, checking all around and making sure that he doesn't have any bumps or um, anything on his, on his skin. him down. He seems pretty calm. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and lift him up and put him right here. Okay. That way I can examine him. Good boy. Alright. So. So the first thing I'm gonna do, like we talked about, is just really feel through I like this collar that you got on him. If you ever need to get him to calm down a little bit, just do that little Really calms the animals down here. Our happy little friends. Okay. Okay. Just going to move them ever so gently. Okay. Okay. You're a good boy. Yeah, you're a good boy. Oh, no. Not my telescope. So his uh, fur is very, very soft, um, and he doesn't seem to have any, um, any ticks or fleas or bumps or anything to be concerned about. His, his fur is very healthy, his skin is very healthy too, he's a very happy puppy. Okay. his nose right there. Let's check his eyes. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So, now that he's calm, oh, he's a little tired. That's okay. Well, we'll be done soon. He's doing a great job. I'm just going to get a close up. Let me see. Let me see your eyes. Oh, they are so beautiful. Okay. I'm just gonna take a little peek into his ears. Okay. So let me see. Let me see your ears. Oh, yes. They are lovely. Lovely, lovely ears. Oh. Okay. Now, we are just going to check his heart rate. Okay. I'm just going to check your heart rate really quickly. Okay. Let's see. Shh, it's okay. It's okay. 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 I'm just going to move it over here. Things sounded really good. So, alright. So, the next thing I'm gonna do is just check his temperature. This will just take a moment. I'm just gonna put it under his, his armpit to here. Just wait a second. Let's see what it is. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so we got his temperature, his heart. Now his weight measurements. Um, I'm just gonna let you hold him while I measure him. Okay, is that okay with you? That way we can get a very accurate um, measurement. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna just go ahead and start with the length of his body. Okay. That's perfect. That is 
totally normal for a 10 week old pup. Okay. Let me see. Let me measure that again. It was moving just a little bit. Okay. Just gonna measure his tail. Perfect. I'm just gonna measure his legs too. Okay. okay. And his arms. Good. Okay, now kinda just like turn him just a little bit and I'm just gonna measure the width of his body. Okay. Good. And now I'm just gonna measure him just to see. Okay. Okay. Alright. Um, I'm just gonna measure. Just a quick measurement of his face. Just make sure everything is lining up. So all of the measurements, okay, let's just go ahead and weigh him and then that'll be it for the checkup, okay. So our weigh, our, our scale is actually right here, so I'm just going to set him down right there. Okay. Let's see, where did my pen go? i got to be sure that I jot this down. Let's see, what was it? All right. Perfect. We are all done. Okay. Um, just give me one second to write a few things down and then we'll go over all of the results of the checkup. Okay. So let's see what we got here. Everything is looking really good, okay? Lots of good news, which is always nice. Um, everything that I've gathered today with his checkup is looking perfect. His weight and height is right on, just right on perfect, okay? Um, so just keep on doing what you're doing. I am going to make a couple notes of like treats and um, recommendation like for food and stuff that way you could be sure to get him the healthiest dog food out there okay and I'm not sure if you know about this but there is a little shop downtown Yep, that's the one. It's kind of catty corner from the pet groomer. Yeah, there's a little pet shop, and there's just tons of affordable things in there, uh, from dog toys to dog foods, treats, um, beds, and just special dog, puppy, animal things. food right here that I wrote down right here um, that's a little bit hard to find especially if you have never looked for it before so you might have to ask the, um, the pet shop worker okay you might have to ask them to help you with that um, I will tell you it's in a pink and white bag and um, just be sure to get this kind okay that would be the probably the best for um, his breed and everything, so, okay, let's see, so that all looked good, um, with treats, try to just limit it, uh, limit the treats to one treat per day, and only give it to him, um, you know, for, if he does something really good, because that's, that's how you're 
gonna get the best behavior from him too, okay? If you give him, if you give him more a day, it kind of seems like, um, he'll be expecting them. You know, it won't be a treat then, you know what I mean? So definitely, just to make sure, um, give him one when he does something really good, or, um, maybe you're teaching him a trick, or maybe you're potty training him, or, you know, just things like that. If he does a good job, then reward him with that. Okay, let's see. So, um, his temperature right here, that was completely normal. It was perfect. His vaccinations, we're going to get all caught up on those next week. Um, he's all caught up right now, but uh, next week he'll be due for another one. heartbeat was spot on. Good. And let's see. Um, we already went over his weight and his height. So all of his measurements came out really good. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you this and I have a copy right underneath it for myself. So go ahead and take that. Now I'm just going to give you a few more things to take home with you today. Um, now, these are all just things to help you start out, okay? Now, these, these are optional. You don't have to take these if you don't think you're going to use them. But if um, potty training has been a little bit of a difficulty, a little bit of a, um, a hard job, okay, then you could take these are just disposable diapers and um, there's a little hole cut out for the tail to go through so they're pretty cute. Um, you, if you're interested in those, help yourself with as many of those as you'd like. If you just want to take one for right now, um, kind of test it out and then maybe get more next time or something, then that would be There's those. I am going to give you some treats to take home. These are just soft puppy bites, okay? And again, just one a day. Um, and these are lamb and salmon recipe, grain-free. These are the healthy ones. Um, okay, so you can go ahead and take those if you choose. And uh, let's see, we have a few other things to give you today. We do have this collar. I noticed you had a blue collar on him right now, and that's perfectly fine for him, but he's going to grow very fast. I know, I'm sorry to say, because we want him to stay little forever, but um, we're going to give you this red collar that you can change him into just, you know, whenever, whenever it's time. Um, that way one less extra thing that you gotta get. Okay. So I'll go ahead and put that with your stuff. So a few other things that we offer here. Uh, this is more for you. Um, as a pet owner, you know, it can be kind of messy because golden retrievers, they shed a lot. Okay. So you're gonna want to groom him a lot and brush, brush him and everything because his his fur will get on your clothes and everything. So we do offer lint rollers and you can get these up at the front desk if you want to take them home with you. These help tremendously. Okay, so I'll put that with your things in case you want to take that. Um, let's see. Up front we also have some of these, um, these home protection. The odor eliminating lavender scent are just little little puppy pads or whatever you'd like to call them um, in case you are body training them like inside um, just in case you can take however many of those that you'd like to okay alright now um, let's see 
Now, these are just gauze sponges you can take if you want to. Um, if they ever stepped on a piece of glass and you can't make it into the vet right away, you can try to clean it up yourself until you can get him in here. So these are some nice little sponges you can take home with you. Um, and, or just keep them kind of like in a little first aid kit. Okay. They're very handy because, you know, puppies like to get into things and they're always walking in places that we really wouldn't. So you always want to be safe and careful. So you can take that if you'd like. Gonna move this down here. I know I have some other things to offer you. Okay. We also have some vitamins, which um, I can't send the whole bottle with you today. But if you would like uh, just a few of these, just to dust them out, we can get you some of those. Okay. And um, here's a different bottle of vitamins for your puppy. Okay. This is vitamin C. Okay. And then, of course, we do have eye drops and things here, too, if you are interested in those. Um, safe for pets, of course. Okay. So, if there's anything else that I can help you with, we can help provide for you or you know any any questions we can answer then just please feel free to let me know um and i did i did put my at home number on that little sheet that i gave you right there at the top okay. yep right there at the top yep that's my number and um my phone is always on me so if anything happens if you have any questions just give me a call well, it's been awesome uh, having you guys in here, and be sure to bring him back, okay, next week. Um, let's see, it was Wednesday at... Yes, okay. All right. Oh, this no problem. It was lovely meeting you guys. All right, I look forward to next week.